makes my heart beat as fast as having to give a Toastmaster speech. <laughs> now, I'm in IT, and I'm not talking about, IT is information technology, by the way, and I'm not talking about the kind of networking that connects computers together. I'm talking about human networking. And for that, I'd seriously rather go to the dentist. So, you know, I decided to do some research on it and try to calm my fear and actually see where did my fear come from? Well, like public speaking, I wondered, is networking something you can become more comfortable with? And I discovered, yes, yes you can. So the key is to find the right approach and avoid the wrong approach. What is networking? I'm just gonna read you a standard definition. Networking is all about making new acquaintances for mutual benefit, sharing interests, inspiration, knowledge, resources, assistance, introductions, solutions, and collaborations. Now, as far as I can tell from my research, there are two basic approaches to networking. I'll give you both of them and let you decide which one is better, but I will not hide my own biases. The first one I call duplicity. Now, the point of this kind of networking is what's in it for me? And your job is to impress the person that you're talking to. Now, don't be authentic because I'm just letting you know now it'll backfire on you. It won't work. You must fit into someone else's preconceived ideal or stereotype of what the perfect person is. And uh, trust me, these people will judge you. If you don't fit their stereotype, then they're gonna see you as an imposition or just asking for help. Now, you can have well-developed skills, you can have a great personality, solid ethics, and be a solid worker. But if you don't fit this person's preconceived notion of the ideal person, they're not even going to discover these things about you. Gosh, no wonder I'm afraid of networking. And no wonder there are so many people out there who are afraid of networking. Fear of rejection, lack of confidence, sense of unworthiness, self-conscious wallflowers, wallflowers. This approach creates all of that. Fortunately, I came across a much more user-friendly version of networking. So let me tell you, if you're afraid of networking at all, the problem is not you. The problem is the approach to networking. Now in the second version of networking, it's all about relationships, building sincere, authentic relationships. The point of this networking is that every person on our planet share his or her unique gifts and reach their potential without limitation by who or what they know. And the benefits of this kind of networking are tremendous. First of all, in this kind of networking, you're not judged by your personality type. This kind of networking understands that uh, networking is actually not about personality type. In the first kind of uh, networking, you would have to be an extrovert because if you're not, you don't have any hope. But in the second uh, type of networking, they understand that introversion and extroversion is just physiological stimulation. Some people get their energy by uh, interacting with people some people get their energy by being alone, and they actually really feel that way. Now, you have to change your whole personality to network, and that's the point of the second type. Now, um, now that you know that networking is for everyone, I'm going to give you a few tips on uh, coming up with a targeted approach to networking. So, number one, know why you want to network. For every person, uh, every person has a different reason. Second of all, don't overlook any possibilities of contacts. So don't look, uh, don't overlook your past coworkers. Think about the alumni, alumni from the school that you went to, and even the people that you don't know. 
from that school. Um, one other person, just uh, make it your 2014 resolution to get to know just one stranger because this person could open the door to a whole new world that you did not know about. And think about the companies that you share the same values with. Send them a resume, not because you want to work there, but just to establish a basis for them getting to know you and for uh, developing a relationship with them. And do not uh, neglect online uh, networking sites because some of these uh, sites like LinkedIn is bigger than or in the top 12 countries. So they're as big as countries. Now, what do you do once you say hello? How do you get past that first hello? I'm gonna give you some tips by a man named Dale Carnegie. And he wrote the book on networking way before the concept of networking even existed. And uh, you probably know his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And I'll just give you some ego tips. Number one, smile. Did you know that a smile stimulates the brain of the person that sees it? as much as winning a $25,000 lottery. Now there's science to back that up. So next time someone smiles at you, just say, thank you, but I'd rather have the $25,000. <laughs> <laughs> now, another thing, if you're an introvert, well, I think I've already made my point. Don't worry about it. You don't have to fake it, just be authentic. And one more thing, ask questions instead of giving opinions. Opinions tend to, um, make people defensive, but questions open people up. And bottom line, these are just some tips for networking with other people, but the bottom line is be interested in other people. Ego will get you embroiled with the wrong people. Interest, genuine interest will get you connected.